are you comfortable with the present governor who appeared in blackface next to somebody dressed up as Ku Klux Klan, a Democratic governor? Yeah. Well, he didn't do Ku Klux Klan at Ferris. No, I'm but. saying he's in blackface next to somebody that yeah. he's dressed up in. But that wasn't him either. It's now come out he wasn't either one of them. But he made a horrible mistake Friday night when he didn't know if he was in or not and said, well, I apologize. How do you not know if it's not you? Oh, we know in Virginia. <laughs> we know, I mean, I know, listen, even if it had been him in the blackface, you know, it was a dumb mistake 40 years ago. I grew up in New York, and, and all fairness, folks, I, I didn't know what blackface was. Or, you know, I had not experienced, we had no racism issues, honestly, growing up in Syracuse. Obviously, moving to Virginia, the capital of the Confederacy, I tell in the book, you find some fascinating stories. Uh, campaigning for governor, my body man, buddy of mine, tall Africa, young African-American man, uh, we're in an event, I'm speaking. Lady comes up and says, you know, you need to be careful, young man. He says, well, what do you mean? He said, there's a Ku Klux Klan rally down the street. I got in the car after. I didn't know, folks, that the Ku Klux Klan was still having meetings. To be honest, I don't know if you do, but I was actually surprised that it happened. We went to a major political event that every candidate has to go for governor. And my wife, my lovely wife, born in Florida, walking around, she hands a guy a flyer. He says, I will never vote for your husband. He's an end lover. And actually said it out. I tell you, I just wasn't exposed to this. And my point is, you know, we can't let this small group of these racists, we're a great state, we're a great nation, but I don't blame Donald Trump for specific acts, but I do blame Donald Trump for creating an atmosphere through his words and his deeds, that this hate language that he has to divide this country, that people think it's okay to march down the city of Charlottesville and scream these epithets. He has created this environment. I'm sorry. And we've never seen this with any other president, but he has created this in this country. And that's why we got to beat him. And the next Democratic president has to spend his time uniting this country and bringing people together.